Hey guys, what is going on? JTails here with another video showing you how to use Palutena competitively. Alright, so I know this is quite a bit of an underused character. Not many people have been using her in tournament or covering her or anything. And I feel like this is because she's a little bit better with custom moves on and most tournaments don't allow custom moves to be used. So that could be a reason for her being underused. Um, some of the other characters in the game do better with customs rather than not. But uh, let's go into training mode and let's see what we can figure out with her. Um, Alright, so first thing we notice is her dash speed. Look how fast she is. Her walk speed is its fine. It's very ladylike. <laughs> but uh, her dash speed is definitely godlike, and uh, we can see it in her movement. She is most definitely the goddess, um, Lady Palutina, and she should be treated as such. Look at that hair. Look at her. Uh... All right. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay. So I guess I want to first talk about her grabs. So her down throw is pretty cool because it can lead into forward air and. Not only forward air, it can lead into back air too. You just uh, down throw, turn around, and then jump in back air. And you can actually make that connect. Also, I think at low percents, and depending on their DI, it could lead into a, an up smash. So like a dash forward up smash. You just dash forward, and then you press up on the C stick. Like that. Um, yeah, so that gives you a decent range, and I guess it, it can hit. Um, it might not be guaranteed, once again, if the person's holding forward, but if they are, you can kind of chase them, you know, and then maybe follow up with a down tilt or with jabs, depending on the way that they're holding after the throw. But generally, you're going to get down throw to a forward air or down throw to back air. And you might have to double jump for it, sometimes you might have to just single jump, depending on their height. Because remember, as the percentages get higher, um, your opponent is going to fly higher up. Actually, it seems to be pretty set knockback, even at high percents. So that, that sounds like a solid kill option, as well as a solid way to rack up damage. You can kind of do something like, like that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I feel like at the ledge it might be a little bit better, because the opponent goes flying off. So... Let's test it out over here. Yeah, see, you get the full hit on the neutral air. And then maybe you can even trump them as soon as they grab the ledge. Her down air also spikes, so that's something to take note of as well. Um, her down air is a good move. It has nice range. It has some recovery, meaning she can't move for a while after using it, but that's okay. So, um... Alright, so another throw, uh, I know her back throw can potentially kill depending on the opponent's percentage. So yeah, see, so if Rob was at a bit higher percent, back throw is definitely the throw to use um, to get the kill, maybe even up throw. But what's good about, well, let me talk about forward throw. Forward throw doesn't really lead into much and it won't kill either. So, uh, but maybe you can set up for, uh, for the neutral beat if you actually use forward throw. You know, I can see something like that maybe working out. Reflect. Actually, I would only really use reflect if you're fighting against projectile characters and someone's, like, really spamming you. Or if you, you can see, like, a dash attack coming in. You can actually set up the reflect and then, uh, it'll push them back and then you can maybe jump run in with a dash attack after they got pushed back or a reflect and then a neutral B depending on you know what happened so in any case reflect also has a hitbox on it see so you can just kind of bump them it will not it will not kill it's not really a strong hit but it's just a little like uh you know like get off me kind of thing um okay so that covers that um her counter is good actually yeah, her counter is pretty good. It uh, it can stall her in the air. Unless she's moving down, it seems like she keeps falling down with it. But if you do it on the way up, it just kind of halts her in the air. 
you know, so you can, I don't know, use it as a stall or use it just as a counter. And if you know your opponent's going to throw a kill move at you, you counter it and you get a kill. Um, I guess her neutral B, I wouldn't call it the most reliable projectile because it's kind of slow. It, it has a lot of startup. And another thing to take note of is that if the opponent moves while you're using this, it'll only hit where that green target is aiming. So if someone moves from there, they're going to avoid all the uh, shots. But what you can do is set up a trap. You know, you can uh, use a neutral B, and then if they jump over it, you can maybe go into a forward air or go into a pivot grab when they land. Um, and of course, it has a set range. So... If Rob, or if your opponent is out of that range, it just won't detect it. And let's find out what that range is. Right there. So it's about half of, oh, a little more than half of on it. So I guess that's about maybe half of Final Destination. Um, okay, so. Let me reset real quick. I just want to check to see how much damage her throws do. Alright, that's 5. That's pretty weak, actually. 9. 8. And... 10. Okay, so there really is no reason to use forward throw unless, you know, you might want to just throw them off the edge. But generally, you want to use down throw because it leads into more follow-ups, you know, and just better options. And... Up throw seems to do good as well because up throw can be comboed into up air and her up air is strong. It, it's actually a kill move. So if you can get your opponent above you, that's to your advantage. You can even do down throw to short hop up air and then uh, work from there. But definitely down throw, back throw deals 10. That's really good. And down throw is only 5, so that's fine. Um... So that covers her throws, that covers her B moves. You can also use the projectile in the air. I wouldn't really recommend it though because she has some uh, end lag on it. Her reflect, we talk, we spoke about. Okay, now her tilt. Her forward tilt is pretty good. It has solid range. However, people can jump over it if they expect it coming. But it's a decent poke. You know, it, it uh, hits for a long time. It's active for a long time. So it can be used to punish spot dodges if your opponent likes to spot dodge a lot, you can just kind of run up and then use a forward tilt. Um, down tilt's my favorite one though. Look how fast. She throws it out and then boom, I can shield almost immediately. So that's going to be probably the most commonly used tilt. It also has decent knockback on it. And then you can maybe follow up off of it somehow. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. Um... Unlike Zelda, her teleport does not have a, a hitbox on it. It doesn't hurt opponents. But one thing that is cool about the, her teleport, same thing with Zelda's, is that you can cancel it. See how I was able to jump right away? And this is called an edge cancel. So it can be kind of risky, and I wouldn't really recommend it on 4 Glory, because on 4 Glory you don't have platforms. But the way you do this is you use your up B right to the edge of a stage. And if you hit the edge perfectly and you don't fall off of it, you can do anything after the teleport. And this can be pretty... Uh, but you see that can happen if you don't um, master the technique. So although it's really useful and it has a lot of applications, you know, she can attack out of her up B. Um, it's very situational and unless you master this... Um, it can be very risky too, because you can just lose your stock, you know? But it's just something for you to know. So if you guys are playing with your friends, like on Battlefield or on Smashville, or some other stages that have more platforms that are, like, safer, it, it can be a really useful tool. Or if you just get really darn good with, um, with knowing the distance, you can just kind of cancel it all you want and uh, not really worry about you know, potentially dying, but there's always the risk, because no one's perfect. So, um, and her, her recovery is really good. Um, most of the teleport recoveries are, they have a good amount of range. So that's fine. And I think you can cut the range as well. Oh, that was a nice cancel. Oops. 
That was a mistake. I just want to see something real quick. Okay, yeah, so I can actually cut the distance of her teleport. Alright, so if I teleport and hold right, like just, I just hold right completely. Oops, look how far she goes. She goes like right, almost in front of Rob, right? Now, if I hold diagonal down and forward, it'll cut the distance in half. So she doesn't go the full range, she actually goes just a little bit more. And you can do this by just putting your joystick like forward and down diagonally and she'll go way less like a considerably less distance and I guess this could be used as a mind game um, or just to escape a situation and you know her teleports really useful in that sense if you're just feeling uncomfortable and you need to get out you can just kind of go over here and now you're behind your opponent um, her jab is also very good it's a good poke it's safe, her jab 1 is pretty safe, so if you just need to like kind of feel things out. But if you hit, you can keep doing it. If they block it, you can kind of just walk away. Or, you know, they block it, then now you grab. Jab to grab, and then you can do the, the, the normal follow-up. Her up smash is amazing. Her up smash breaks shields. Um, if someone manages it, manages to block it, it breaks their shield. And that is insane to me that a move this powerful, and it kills, look at that. So a move that hits so high up, has this much range, breaks shields too, it's easily her best move aside from her uh, her up air. And that was also a really, a really good combo. Up air can combo into itself in a sense. And uh, yeah, and up air kills fairly early, all her smashes. Um, you're going to want to use down smash to punish rolls, and it has a win box on it. As you can see, it pushes opponents away if it doesn't hit. So that kind of helps keep her safe, you know? If you miss it, it'll still push them away. So that's the, the, the beautiful part about it. But if it hits, it's actually a very powerful move. Look at all that knockback. Now, I wanted to talk about something else very quickly. Um, notice how much damage the forward smash does when I'm right in Rob's face. 16. Now, notice how much it does when I'm... A little bit further away. 13. So definitely how close you are to your opponent matters um, when optimizing your damage. I'm not saying you always want to be this close when you get the forward smash, but if you want to get the kill and, and they miss a move, you want to be as close as possible and it's safe, you know? You don't want to hit them with the last, with the very tip of it, because first of all, sometimes it doesn't even hit. So you have to know the range of it. But definitely, for the kill, you gotta be up close, and just be careful, because the closer you are, the more punishable you are, but that's how the move works, so definitely her up smash is incredible. Her get up attack is pretty quick too, um, or you can just jump and teleport back onto the stage, and just mess around with the options. Um, what else? Her dash attack is quick. I would say her dash attack is one of the best in the game, like aside from foxes and a couple. That doesn't mean throw it out liberally, but it's usable, you know? And her up tilt's very good. It seems like a very good anti air move. Look at all that. It, and it, it, it pulls them in. So definitely, if people are trying to come down on you, you can use this to keep them up in the air, and that's going to set up for the up air kill. So that's uh, another good thing to take note of. Um, you definitely want to get used to, while dashing, press the shield button to, to change your movement. Because look at that little turn she does. That takes time. But it's easier if you put up your shield and then turn around while you're dashing. Just to uh, move with her a little bit better. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, her neutral air is cool too. Um, if it hits in the air, you don't really want to land with it, look, because it has some landing lag. Her down air also has a good amount of landing lag. Her up air has landing lag, but her back, her back air, she can shield immediately as soon as she lands. Full hop back air, barely any landing lag. And one thing about forward air is that you can do it to the ground, and she won't have any landing lag. Same thing with back air. You can do it to, into the ground and she has some recovery on it, 
but it's not much. It's not like her other moves. So definitely forward air is going to be one of your best spacing tools if you get the timing of that. Look at that range. And it's safe too. So that's very good to know. Um, and you can do two forward airs in one full hop and two back airs in one. Ooh, can she get the second one out? Oops. Yeah, she can. So you can do two two back airs, two forward airs, and one full hop, and one short hop, just one. But it's safe, so you can like forward air to, to forward tilt, forward air to jab, to grab. What you know? It, it's just like a good mix up. Like you can keep. You can even do retreating forward airs with her. So her utility is pretty good. Um, she has her good qualities. She has her bad qualities. I feel like she's a very balanced character. She's not very overpowered. You definitely have to put in work and time if you want to win with her because she's not like, you know, she doesn't have too many guaranteed follow-ups. She doesn't have easy moves to hit with. You know, even the up smash is kind of hard to hit with. Um, so yeah. She's a character of hard work, and I feel like the people who are going to be maining her are characters that are people that genu genuinely like her as a character, you know? Um, and plus, she's a goddess, so that's freaking awesome. But anyway, I think that's going to go ahead and conclude this tutorial. So, if you haven't already, please check out how I use Palatina on 4 Glory Mode. I'm going to be uploading that in just a little bit. So, if you enjoyed this video guys, please give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. Please share it. Um, I know there aren't many guides on Palutena, so um, if you can tweet this out, maybe share it amongst your Facebook friends, let people know, anybody who mains Palutena, share it with them. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, really been working on growing my channel and definitely I cannot do that without you guys and as always I've really been appreciating all the support I've, I've been getting you guys have been incredible to me and all the comments just everything has been wonderful no negativity and you guys are all just amazing people so as always guys thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time